All right, we back. Feels like cold. Oh, it's on the no table too. Hangale, but the page did place him at Cauldron Lake, in an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. We've seen this symbol before. Oh, is it a directional arrow? Good eye. Monsters, overlaps, rituals. What do you make of all of this? Hmm. The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved, forcing you into their twisted world. But with dead men coming alive, the word ritual starts to have more weight behind it. We need to look around, learn what this ritual is. After we find Nightingale, what then? I've never arrested a monster. I've watched you arrest plenty of monsters, Anderson. You know what I mean. Monster monsters. Light worked against him at the morgue. That might be the only way to stop him from hurting anyone else. Is there a way to change weapons? Oh god, I hit the wrong button. My bad. Television so I can watch back old stuff. Oh, there's only six of them. That's not bad. Weapon upgrades, profiling map, case board. Don't have anything new there. Give me one second. I'm gonna look at the, um... I'm gonna look at my controls. Is there a way to, like, change quick slots? So I have quick slots. What are quick slots? How do I assign quick slots? Damn it, game! Hang on, I gotta figure this out before it bothers me too much. Inventory is I? Do I just press inventory and then... So I have a charm that increases maximum health, apparently. And then I have all these items. Um... Ah, I can stick them in a quick slot, okay. So I can put you in like the down, or like the, sorry, four? Nah. Quick slot, uh, two. Quick slot, three. Something like that. So now if I want to hit three, I, I, I pull that out and then I heal. Awesome. Okay, I'm getting it. Sorry, that I, I I don't play these types of games, chat. This is your reminder. I am not a survival horror gamer. This type of stuff is not natural or normal to me. Me figuring this stuff out is very important for me enjoying this game more. Bare feet. Nightingale. Bare feet? More like the feet of a bear. Sorry, that was really dumb. Because Nightingale was a large man. That was that was the joke chat. He wasn't really hairy enough to be like a bear bear though. Like you know the the dating scene bear. Like, he wasn't- he's not the right for that. Just giving away the goods? Gotta sell those, make that money. Exactly, Shaman, exactly. Now you're cooking with gas. Okay. I'm just having to vibe it based off the general shape of the map. I thought we only used propane around here. Damn it! I've been found out! Propane, propane accessories. This game is definitely much more open than, uh... This game is definitely much more open-ended than the other Alan Wake was. That's for sure. 
it feels a bit more like control where like you have lots of places you can generally go, but like you don't really have places you go. You know what I mean? Like there's places you can walk and paths you can take, but they don't really go anywhere. Hmm, that was creepy. They did way too good of a job with this lighting and I hate it. I mean, I love it, but I hate it. It's fucking raining. I literally don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now, other than, like, I'm supposed to be investigating the, the site. But I got lost and distracted, and then wandered around a bunch, and I'm lost again. I'm supposed to be following footprints, aren't I? Am I an idiot? Chat, am I dumb? It started raining! I'm gonna lose the footprints! No! That's what I'm supposed to- I'm supposed to be following footprints. I'm an idiot. I was like, what am I supposed to be doing? Those footprints have the same shadowy effect on them that all the shadow, like, demon things do. Sorry, all the Taken. I gotta use proper terminology. I'm gonna shit my pants at some point. I mean... <clears throat> very calmly get scared. Oh, I hate this. It's the lack of music for me there, Bob. Like, there's just, like, no fucking music. It's just weird ambient noises. I hate it. Love it. <sighs> Funny enough, I don't actually do, like, the high-pitched scream. I found that out very recently when I was watching some scary TV show. My scream's more of a, ah! You know what I mean? <gasps> Mitch told me her family's moving away. This sucks. I haven't even told her I like her yet. What's the point anymore? She said her parents want to get better jobs and to get her a better school in a big city. I guess that's fair. Who wants to stay in bright fucking falls? Sunday, so I told her. She said thanks. Fucking kill me. Monday, I snuck out last night. Went to the big house by the lake instead of just watching it from here like I always do. Instead of sitting around like I always do. Screw that. Anyway, something weird's going on down there. I'm gonna go find out what... Going to go back there tomorrow with better gear, but I can find a way inside the building and take some photos. It's gonna be epic. Wait, hey, on. The big house by the lake? Is that the cabin? The cabin doesn't exist, though. Well, like, well, like it does, but it doesn't. Oh, man. I'm so happy I'm doing all this exploring, though, I'm not gonna lie. It's, like, really satisfying. The Witch's Hut. Here lived the Witch of Cauldron Lake. Beware, her spirit may still haunt this place. I'll take that over the shadow beings of the darkness. I think you remember the cabin mentioned in Control? It's possible. We should follow the footprints and stop getting distracted. The cabin from Alan Wake um, is a very important cabin. The tracks lead into the water. It's where Alan Wake walking. does all his writing. It's where the typewriter is. It's actually underneath the lake at the moment. I can feel something. Fucking Christ! Oh, I want out already. Oh, man. Oh, they're back! They're back! Sorry, these were a thing in Alan Wake. Um, 
Also, you might hear me kicking my desk a lot. I apologize for that. These were a thing in Alan Wake. They were always like little boxes full of like ammo and shit. Oh, I, I missed them so. Well, that got my attention. Right? The tree was a threshold. Oh, it makes so much sense. And the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop, Caldera Street. Station. Caldera Street Station. That sounds threshold. wrong. Like a doorway, leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree, which is Ladle. Follow you into the dark. I just realized that was the name of the song. Oh my god. Which is ladle. There's no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after its cauldron shape. And yet there are many mysterious stories about the lake. It being a gloomy doorway to the underworld, or which of whose cauldron the lake really was. Remember, <laughs> you can poke objects of power with a stick. You're goddamn right. Legend tells that the affections of a local sheriff went unanswered. He accused the lady in question of having bewitched him. She was drowned, but her dropped ladle grew into a strange tree named the Witch's Ladle. The woman returned to avenge her wrongdoers if she was not a witch before she was one now. She killed the sheriff, drowning him in the lake. She took out his heart and locked it in a box. With the heart, she would summon him from the lake to exact revenge on her behalf, or so the legend goes. What is that? Seems like it's reacting to the light. These aren't the same tracks that were here before. They're headed into the tree, not out of it. Um, is there a way to, like, power up my flashlight? Oh, um... That's a toggle. Let me let me find a different button to push. Hang on, sorry. That's gonna bother me. <sighs> Can I not assign that to anything? Are you fucking kidding me? Ah, there it is. Flashlight boost. Uh, there we go. Hi. My Bye. Burn the dark stuff away. It was covering another page. The fuse was in place. Oh no. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Now that we know how to do that, I'm concerned. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. I trust. Place. She oh no. The forest. Saga stepped inside the witch's hut. Something rushed through her. A presence, familiar. She couldn't quite place it. Something long forgotten. She tried to hold on to it, but it was already gone. Inside, a bright light. Saga felt safe, like nothing could hurt her here. There were objects that stood out to Saga as if the light had manifested them, pulled them from the darkness. A shift in reality, heavy with hidden meanings. A coffee thermos. The thermos! The shoebox! The, the mom and plug in the poster! Oh my god! Another Can I pause this? Page. Will it let me? Okay, we might have to just like re-listen to that again. Okay, it's fine. We can we can do it like this. We just missed the final line. Sorry, this is super exciting and cool. Hidden meanings. A coffee thermos. The coffee thermos from Alan Wake 1, which shows up as an altered item in control. The altered item itself being the coffee thermos that always teleports around the world, shows up wherever it is quote-unquote needed, apparently, and it's always full of nice, moderately hot coffee. A shoebox, the shoebox is from Alan Wake as well. It is the shoebox through which the clicker was given to Alan Wake. A mop in a bucket is obviously Ati from Control. A poster on the wall is a reference to Jessie from Control. Because she always mentions there being a poster on the wall, and when you pull it down, you can finally see behind it. And the manuscript page is obviously Alan himself. Sorry, that got me super excited. That's really cool. What was the movie she was referencing with the poster? Uh, that's literally a game-long punchline. She starts the game by referencing the movie. 
Uh, she literally, like, literally, like, the opening dialogue from the game is referencing the movie. And then at the very, very, very end of the game, she, after credits roll the second time, the real time, she goes, Shawshank Redemption! That's the, that's the movie I was thinking of. Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> it's hilarious. Where did Nightingale go? Tree to some other place. Is Witch's Ladle the doorway into the overlap? If so, that's where I'll find Nightingale. <gasps> I need to find the fuse inside the house. Light is the key. To stay safe. But for something more to be revealed as well. Yeah, Kronk, it's all come together, Meal. This is the witch's hut. Anderson, thought I saw something in the woods. Probably just a deer, but I'm gonna check it out. Okay. I found another page. Following up on a lead. Keep checking in. Roger. The page described the hut being lit. And mentioned a fuse. Um, shit. A fuse box? But this is like a super old school hut. I don't understand how this would have a fuse box. But I could go checking. Oh. The fuse box is missing a fuse. I need to find one to turn on the lights. Well, I'm an idiot. Does anyone else see, like, this right here? Is that my imagination? Hang on. Does it go away when I pause the game? It does. That's weird. Uh, I feel like that's not intentional, right? At least I hope not. This fuse is busted. That's gotta be like a read-write issue. This one looks good. People should really stop littering, though. Get it in there and restart, yeah. Yeah, we're going to restart the game real quick. I love that the coffee thermos is the save point as well. That's wonderful. I'm going to really quickly, while we're here, just do a really quick, like, can I, can I scan this? Can I scan this to verify? I'm going to verify the game really quick because it's being a little weird. So I'm just going to do a quick verification. It shouldn't take long.
44% verified chat. Yeah, we're just we're just being smart, being safe, just in case. Just doing it while I'm here. While I'm like out of the game, I mean. This is taking forever. Oh god, right, this is like an 80 gig game, isn't it? Fuck, that's my bad chat. Oh well, we'll just have to wait it out. Don't really have an option. It's just something smart to do while the game's being a little wonky on me. Like I said, after tonight, I'm going to shift it to my hard drive and then... go shopping for an actual SSD. We're getting there, chat. We're getting there. So how do you like the game so far, chat? I'm loving it. It's fucking wild. It is, in fact, nucking futs. The true mindfucker. I feel like once I get through this, like, gateway here, the true mindfucker is going to begin. Which just feels like this is probably, like, the best time to, like, double check, make sure everything's working, make sure nothing fucked up, you know. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, 69%, nice. Fuck it, it's my channel, like, I can do this if I want to. <laughs> I have infinity points, fear me. That's why I can't bet on anything. Mods, mods can gamba if they weren't the ones to make it. If they make the, if they make it, you cannot participate in it. Or if you choose the outcome, or, or if you participated, you can't choose the outcome.
86% chat. We're almost done. I'm shocked that I haven't found anything wrong yet, considering how weird it was being, but I'm just going to assume this is just like a hard drive issue, which sucks, but nothing I can do about it. Almost. 96% reverse nice. <laughs> that took me way too long to type. I'm embarrassed. We're building the suspense chat. What do you mean it says 100% and we're not done? There we go. Jesus. There we go. Now we're cooking. All right, we're here. This is going to take another 12 minutes to load, so I apologize, but we're back, bitches. We'll get there eventually. Oh my god, this is taking so long, and I hate this, but also, as long as it looks pretty. Another page. Oh damn, it does look pretty. Making progress. So I can just like hit quick save, and that's just a quick save. Oh, it makes a cup of coffee when you quick save. That's incredible. The image of the witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. 
I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. I... Towering over Saga, watching her and the witch. The image of the witch in the sign. Nightingale's heart, a cold, dead lump in her hand. Her definition of sanity had changed since she arrived in this town. But she trusted the pages. Was forced to. Saga addressed the witch. She squinted to read the first part of the ritual words. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. The words she had read on the page. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. This was the key. The tree was the threshold. Uh-huh. The page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. What is the ritual? Nightingale's heart disappeared from the morgue. Where is it now? Get into the overlap. I need to find Nightingale's heart. Oh, that means we need to kill Nightingale, I guess. That's great. the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. I need Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Where is it? That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. There must be more. Nightingale's heart. Where is it? Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store. The witch had stolen his heart. The red light is very hiss reminiscent. Nightingale's heart is at the general store in a fridge. How do you know that? How does she know that? We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. The cult of the tree is Yeah, I think so, Dragon. This screams place of power, object, idea of power. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. And the cult of the tree is now finished. Oh no, the cult of the tree is now an entirely separate case. Okay. If I'm going to shut them down. Oh god, we got we got lots of room here, huh? What kind of cult? I feel like the deer mask will help with that. And so will the symbol. Cult symbols that can go under the same category. Creates monsters? No. Who's involved? Hmm. Cult psychology. Cult goal? Yeah, we'll put these guys down here under cult goal. Yeah, and then this guy can be like, what's the purpose of the ritual? And he goes the only victim to become a monster. Why? Doesn't make sense. And I have the heart is somewhere in the general store, which can go. Where is the heart? The cult of the possum is far superior. You're goddamn right. Oh, I'm not ready. 
KC. I'm Don't forget to, to save store. often. Okay. Into the overlap. Roger that. I followed some ATV tracks in the woods and got a bit turned around. Did you get lost? I've only been lost once in my life, Anderson. The years I spent with my ex-wife. I'll find my way back. Boo. Boo this man. Uh, okay, yeah, see, I feel like going this way is like the quote-unquote correct way, but also the scary way. <gasps> A lamp! We like those. We like these. It's a little of the protagonist of a corny mystery novel. Um, well. Oh, where? You tried. Yes, Wake wrote those novels before he ever even found the typewriter. Those are old school Alan Wake. <sighs> Monday 93, some suspicious activity spotted. The field authorities saw movements in the bushes. Footprints around the area were found, but some were compromised by the fielder. Note to self, train the fielder. Nothing to report, some animals regular. Hunters were out after dark. Poachers heard some gunshots, not one of ours. Gotta keep an eye on those people. They could get more than they bargained for out here. Yeah, those were the books that Alan Wake finished. He got, he got like, famous off of them, and then he finished writing them. And then he got writer's block, and that's what led to Alan Wake's one... Alan Wake 1's plot happening. I'm gonna get jump scared. I'm not fucking ready. Oh, he's gonna... Christ. He's gonna jump through the wall. Called it. Shoot the heart, got it. A cultist. A monster. Like Nightingale. Saw that coming a mile away. <gasps> a shotgun! Check with Lady Fortuna at the counter. Okay. I'm gonna sneeze, Jet. Manuscript pages! Take me away. With the broken door, her gun ready, flashlight aimed ahead. Nightingale said it would be here. The Cauldron Lake General Store was overgrown, left to rot. Saga thought about I'm not gonna lie, there was a very obvious, like, giant dead. empty space on the wall, so I just kind of put two and two together. Some ritual murder. Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store. Also, this is the first time we've had the flashlight and known how to focus it to kill people. Closer to the door. Had the animal broken it? There was a loud crash. Saga found herself face to face with a cultist. A hulking figure in a raincoat. We watch in the night. Wild eyes behind a plastic deer mask. An axe in his raised hand. Wrong button. Damn it, I need to stop doing that. Um, let's go ahead and take care of this, shall we? Man, is that it? 
There we go. It's a heart. The text on the heart is clearer now. Let Why is that clearer? Sounds literary. The wave crashed on the far side of the mirror. I brought you the heart, which show me the terror. The paper shows signs of being rewritten. Alan Wake is trying to write a better ending. I feel like I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. And now I need to give the heart to the witch. Makes total sense. I don't like this. Well, that's all wrapped up now. The heart in the fridge. Just like the page said I would. Don't forget update code. It's probably 723 then, right? I can't read, so we're just gonna have to wait for a minute while it loads. Hold, please. Think we can guess what the numbers say? Ah, there we go. So it's not 723? Otherwise this would be open. Oh, talk to Lady Fortuna. It's, um... These numbers match the ones on the lotto ticket. Three, nine, four, I bet. Just taking a gander. Seven, two, three, four. What did I say it was? Two, nine, four. That ain't it. Damn it. Am I an idiot? Oh, was it 394? I am an idiot. Whoops. Hang on. I gotta wait and make sure that it's right. Yeah, it's not 394. It says check. Oh, so we have to figure out the pattern. That they were using. So, like, hmm. I don't think this is relevant. Interpreter of dreams, lol. So it's 705, 713, 717, 723. 705, 713, 1723. So we're on 739. It's 739. Nine zero one two three four five six seven eight nine three four five six seven. I'm a fucking genius. Fear me. Actually, let's do the painkillers here. Quick slot you to there. This is my boom stick.
Casey, there are cultists in the area. They're taken, like Nightingale. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'm still finding my way back. You have the worst sense of direction. <laughs> Any city in America I can get through drunk and blindfolded. It's these damn trees. Okay, okay. I'm en route to Witch's Ladle. I need to perform a ritual to open the overlap. This case just keeps getting weirder. But it is exciting. So if I take a little like right down here, I should be fine. I'm gonna go quick save really quick. Don't mind me, just being paranoid. I like how the music changes when you go inside the safe zone. Like completely calming and relaxing. Whereas this shit is on edge and tense. Okay, yeah, so it's a one-tap to the chest, it looks like. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this now. It looks like stuff takes a long time to die in this game. <sighs> nice pixels, lady. Uh -oh. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. That's bad. Oh, same, Shaman. It's like she's shoving the flashlight down their throats. Hi, Alan! Casey, I think I'm in the overlap. Are you still on your way? Casey! Casey, do you read me? Fuck. Okay, Saga. Going in solo. Logan? Logan! Oh, I hate that. Where are you? What the fuck was that? Logan's back in Virginia. You're imagining things. I really hate how I'm out of batteries at the moment. At what point did we say that she fucked up five minutes ago? Would you please help me? 
Dan, thanks for the 40 months of seven. That's all awesome. Thanks for the community support button. Please enjoy your possums. Wait. Did I get turned around? No. No, this is right. This place is looping. Like a nightmare. Page. Banish the dark presence. Taken still lurked in the woods. The dark place receded. The current pulled back those with darkness inside. Into the lake. Nightingale was there. One of them. The dark presence. Jagger had taken him. The witch had stolen Jagger. his they sank We know her. The, waves. the dark place. Wandering in the shadows. Muttering to themselves. It's dark. Yeah, exactly, it's Shaman. Lost. Like, mm. where am I? Who am I? I can't remember. It's cold. Premium cabins for rent and bright bulbs. <laughs> Who said that? Can you hear me? I need help. Premium cabins for rent Please. and bright falls. Stop this. What did I do? You must dig it out. Their shape shifted. Echoes of the writer's dreams. Fading in, fading out. The next story and the story after that, the writer was writing again. The writer was writing again. Alan. Ooh, spicy. The birds. The goddamn birds. Okay, bye. I'm gonna get jump scared again here in about five, four, three, two, bam. Oh, I hate this. Oh. Is the horror aspects good at all? You're currently witnessing them. Who is that? It's like they're coming in over a bad signal. I'm only pulling out my boomstick out of pure terror. Health, ammo, ammo, Nightingale's badge. Yeah, we're going into a fight. Oh, yeah. No, I don't want to. It is some Resident Evil inventory stuff. What the fuck? Oh, that was weird. I did not like that. I'm about to get jump scared. It's happening. It's happening. Goodbye, sanity. <gasps> oh, God. Sorry, they called it source, not a. They called it the source and that excited me. Gotta move. Now. Not that way. Um, uh, that way? Oh. 
I don't think I was supposed to die there. I think I fucked up. Source? Source is a term they use in control. It's the term they use for the shit that you shot out of the hiss that landed on the ground. It was your currency. You used Source to upgrade yourself and your powers in control. They are very particular about their word choices. They are very particular about their word choices. Also, use the shoebox to store or withdraw items. Love it. The shoebox is an item Tom and Zane wrote into creation that, um, can basically hold stuff in it that can't exist. Guessing cases in this game? We don't know yet. All we've seen so far is there's a lot of the color red. And the shadows are shadows. Almost like actual writers worked on this game. The writing for the writing for Remedy games has been pretty baller since the original Alan Wake, to be fair. I can't speak for Quantum Break, so I apologize if Quantum Break was also good and I just missed it, but Alan Wake 1, incredible. Control, incredible. And so far, Alan Wake 2, incredible. Dark Hiss hybrids. Well, we already fought those. Old school motherfucking Emil Hartman. I've heard good things about Quantum Break, honestly. Oh, that's how that works. I was wondering. Could you not, sir? Gotta get away. Gotta move now. Okay, cool. Bonus items. That's good. That's good. I believe Quantum Break is its own universe, but I could be wrong. Could you not? Oh god, those jump scares are getting me. They're not even undeserved, they're just really surprising me. You know what I mean? Like, they don't feel cheap, they feel like, oh, you succeeded in combat. <laughs> you know, like, they don't feel cheap to me. They feel as part of this terrifying experience. Lots of jump scares feel cheap to me. As far as I know, Quantum Break is its own thing, but I'm not positive. Oh! Jamin! Alan?
Cauldron Lake, yes. I'm at Cauldron Lake, yes. I'm at Cauldron Lake. Where are you? Where are you? Escape. I'm at Cauldron Lake. Danger. The dark presence. In danger. The dark presence. Thanks, got it. Thanks, got it. Hi, Alan. Hey. Yeah, these cutscenes being desynced is going to get old. I'd really need to move this after this. It got out. Oh, Mr. Scratch is now okay? taking his place. No, it's my fault. It got out with my face. Scratch. He's changed the story, the dark Sir, presence. Calm down. We must stop I'm it. I need to take a breath. He's, he's changed the story, the dark presence. We must stop it before. Easy now. First things first. I'm a writer. I've name? been. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. Oh yeah, it's really desynced. I apologize. There's nothing I can do. I've been Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. Hey, we're trying to fix it by pause buffering. There it is. We fixed it by pause buffering. We did it. Yeah, don't worry. I'm moving this to a hard drive after this so that I just don't have to worry about this anymore. The desync is really bad, I know. Like I said, uh, tonight, after stream's over, I'm going to move, like, my Final Fantasy fourteen to a uh, different hard drive so that I can move this onto my SSD that I own. Or, honestly, I could just force myself to go out and buy a new SSD, which would be a pain in the butt, but I could do it. Jamie! Anders, where did you go? All of a sudden, the radio stopped working, and then the flooding just... The desync is a problem with not being on an SSD, by the way, chat. Is this who I think it is? Casey, say hello. Everyone says that's Alan what the problem Wake. is. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Alex Casey, how <laughs> am I still? Is this the dark place? God, I forgot how much I missed Alan's voice. I got out. Yeah, the PI from your books has the same name as me. Great. Moving on. He killed off the PI in his books for context. It's a bit of a hike to the car, Wake. So get your bearings, then we'll head out. I just. I, I need another minute. Cauldron Lake. I thought I'd never see this place again. Should look around. With the flooding gone, could be further clues out there. The flooding disappeared very suddenly. I wonder if there's any connection to the overlap. To Nightingale. Alan does look rough. Depend on it. They have vital information. We know about the page, Wake. We'll keep an eye out for them. Okay. Oh, I probably need to go this way. It's okay. Take your time. And there it is. That's what I've been looking for. He would too with everything he went through, yeah. Good deer jerky. I was expecting that to be like an investigation point. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I'm doing a bad job of exploring chat, don't mind me. I just generally don't know where to go and look. 
This area is enormous. Oh! The creepy twig sculpture. A locked box. Is that the cult of the tree symbol on it? Oh, it's just like... Ammo. <gasps> Is that a flare? Oh, mon dieu. I found a flare. Oh, my life is complete. Throwable flare emits intense light for long duration. Throwable gas canister? What the shit? <laughs> I can only have two of those at once. All right, noted. Oh, there we go. The cult doesn't see their victims as people. They look like us, but they aren't. They're like animals. It's our job to hunt them and gut them. <gasps> oh, I think I may have just made a connection to the original Alan Wake one. There's a throwaway line where the sheriff is talking about, um... Nightingale goes missing for 13 years. The sheriff is talking about being a part of a cult. Are the cults good guys? But they're being controlled by the shadows, so they can't be, right? A rider who's also been missing for 13 years turns up. What's the connection? What happened 13 years ago? God. Uh, iconography. Yes. Um, maybe under cult goal. Cult psychology, probably. Yeah, there we go. Oh, so we now have stashes being listed as a thing here. These stashes could contain clues about the cult. Better keep an eye out for more. And this will probably show me how many stashes are in each area, right? So it's like nine and then five. Yeah, okay. Neat. Good to know. I'm still investigating at the moment. The good guys found new people to inhabit, just more powerful townsfolk. Yeah, exactly what I was thinking, Shaman. Absolutely one of those, like, well, just because they were originally good does not mean the darkness could not inhabit them, right? Uh, let's go back to the lake shore, because it said previously flooded area, so we want to explore down there as much as possible, I think. This lighting is gorgeous, but I want it to be daytime. That's because I'm a scaredy baby, not because the lighting is bad or hard to see in. Manuscript! The overlap. The reality changing influence of the dark place flowed like water flowed, like fear flowed, down the path of least resistance, eroding the weak spots until they cracked. In places where reality was more yielding, where a story told and retold, imagination sparked and fear ignited again and again, had softened the walls of reality. Sites of violence and tragedy. Where truth was laced, truth with was fiction, laced with fiction. Where a work of art proposed an alternative narrative, something people could suspect to be true, something people felt strongly about. Mm -hmm. You getting it yet, Chat? The stronger the connection between the belief and emotional response, the better. The darker, the better. A ghost of a witch ripping a man's heart from his you chest. You getting it, Chat? Two brothers murdering the neighbors and hiding their bodies in a well. A young woman haunting the flooded bunker where she drowned. Bedtime stories, folk tales, urban legends connected to a specific place. These were the sites where the overlaps came to be. Ah, uh, okay. 
the over overlaps are thresholds, just straight up thresholds from control. They're just being referred to differently here because they are specifically thresholds between the dark place and our world, as opposed to in the house, where the thresholds could be between us and the quarry, us and the mold, us and the something else. They are a specific type of threshold. Multiverse? Oh, control is very much a multiverse. Or sorry, Alan Wake control. The remedy the remedy universe. RCU, the remedy cinematic universe. It's very, very much a, uh, a whole damn thing. God, you look dreadful, Alan. Yep, and as is the case with Control, they were given power because people believed in them, right? Not because they were innately powerful, but they were tied to these areas of superstition and ideas, and people believed in them, so they gained power. Fucking Theros up in this bitch. If I missed some stuff, that's okay. Where am I going? I'm just going to wait here for a second so I can try and figure out where I'm going and where I'm at. Hold, please. Hold, please. Okay, so this is the whole, like, flooded out lake section. That's the overlap, and that's how we get back. I'm going to assume that just, like, there's something down here that we haven't been to yet. So let's do a 180 and go this way. There's got to be something we're missing, otherwise the game would be like, Yep, check mark, you're done. Get out of here, fucko. Or bucko, with they're being nice. I don't see anything, though. I legitimately do not see a damn thing. Like, I don't see anything to interact with, and I don't see anything that I should be walking up to interact with. Yeah, no, control hey, and... Steve. What's the forest's favorite shape? Please, Anderson. Just one case without the... A triangle. Oh my god. Yes, Shut the fuck up, Saga. That's even, chat, chat, I want to point that out, that's even worse, because triangles and, like, Alan Wake and Control have power. They are, like, they're a thing. There's, like, a whole study of them done in Control by the people who got into the oldest house first. That's a 4 out of 10 pun. Are you sure it's not a forest out of ten pun? Kill me. Alright, fuck it, we're going back. I think I found everything I could. The game does such a good job letting you relax in these sections, only to probably scare the shit out of me in about 15 seconds. On the trail of the writer forever. The writer who despised Hemingway, Bukowski, Wake. I'll get you. I'll find you. I'll make you pay. You're in over your head. He descended into the tunnels. The tunnels? The city, the From the dark city into the ocean of darkness. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. Something, a presence, rumbled. Not a train. Shadows shifted on the platform. The writer's cult waited for him there. The cult? The cult of the word. A cultist leaned close. Cult of the word? What the fuck? I carry his words close to my chest now. You're not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. He'd be caught. Murdered. They got him. They didn't get him. He was reborn out of hate. Oh. He was there. But he was risen. Sent to find the light switch up from the lake that was not the lake. 
I don't like that at all. Why did the game feel the need to tell me that I can turn backwards by hitting the S key twice? Ah! I get it now. Sorry, Popo. Even the animals are turning into monsters. So is the typewriter with scratch? It might be. <gasps> They're back! The arrows from Alan Wake 1 are back! Oh my god, yes, 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 yes. Yes! Sorry, that's just, like, really exciting. And now... Are they, so they're all pointing this way. Okay, yeah. So now I have the stream side stash key. Wherever the fuck the stream is. Yeah, they were always there, Saga. Come on. Be better. Uh, I'm gonna follow down this path now, actually. What's the worst that can happen? A lot. Please ignore my, uh... Please ignore me when I scream in about five minutes, chat. <sighs> Today's catch. Yellow perch and a mid-sized pike. Almost caught lake trout, but it gave me the slip. So I'm out of town or walking around in the woods just before sunrise. Have binoculars on a telescope or something. Take notes. Didn't notice me. Good. Don't need the attention. Just an old rubber boot. Some of the regular creepies roaming around again. Avoided them as usual. No one notices a quiet old fisherman. Not even the fish. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, that's what I thought. People of this town already know all about this shit, chat. We need to get down to the creek. I mean creek. Stream side, there it is, yeah. What the fuck? A little clothespin doll. Perfect oh. weird souvenir for Logan. There's something written here. A poem? Uh oh. Or a riddle. Reminds me of the nursery rhymes I read to Logan when she was little. One bird for the light, two for darkness, three birds for a fight, four for a struggle, five birds for injury, six for misery, seven for the ending, whatever it may be. Something feels different. I should look around. Hi. You know, that that was different. A charm. Cute. It'll go great on the bracelet Logan made for me. Huh. That was strange. Got to keep an eye out for more of these rhymes. All right, time to go back to the case board really quick. Hang on. Creepy dolls, 
Mysterious rhymes? No weirder than anything else going on, I guess. Reenacting rhyme made the environment change. That's not right. Okay, okay. Saga's handling this far better. I'm shocked at how well she's like handling it. Also, chat, I hate to warn you, I'm not going to collect all these things. I'm not that good at this type of game. I will not find all of these. I will do the best that I can while wandering around, but I am not finding all of this shit. I am not that good at this game. Oh, I can pick it back up when I'm done. Oh, that's very important. Oh, that is very important. Okay, so I can't get down by the crick right now. Okay, so the game very much locks you out of places you can't go. That's good to know. Um... Can I not punch it? Can I shoot it? I gave it one bullet, that's all it's getting. Bullets are just... Bullets are nice. Not what I meant to click. Damn. Witchfinder's Station. Uh. Do you think maybe I went past it? I could have gone past it. You know what, let's go back before we get too in-depth here, right? Oh, the... I need to be careful about just walking around, huh? I need to be more careful wandering around, huh? Noted. I just kind of assumed that that wouldn't happen, and it turns out I was wrong. That's fine, though. Oh, is this the leaving supplies around for themselves? Wonder what's inside. I should take a look around. Okay. For a way um, to open this thing. Um. Okay. The cult is watching right now. Okay. I I want to point out. I think part of my theory was correct. I think because why else would the cult be writing with these these things that can see the light? We will read that manuscript page in a second. 
It witches ladle. Saga pointed the flashlight at the strange, dark substance. The same substance Nightgale had left at the morgue. There was something hidden under it. She strained to see. The opposite of sunspots in her eyes. Blacker than black. Suddenly a change. The light reacted to the substance. A feedback loop surging up her arm. Saga squeezed the flashlight, willing it to penetrate the dark matter. Burn it away. Okay. The fact that the cult is being taken by the shadows scares me, though. If they're using light markings to mark where their stuff is, why are they taken? What happened? What's the middle ground that I missed? Does my flashlight just not recharge? That really sucks. I missed that already. I don't know how much I'm allowed to explore, by the way. Uh, achievement. Aim Ted, apparently. God, those guys are surprising as fuck. It does look like they drop adequate amounts of materials back for you, so it's not like a net loss. Which is very good, mind you. If they didn't drop, like, any materials at all, this would be a net loss every time you got in combat, which would be tough. Another one of those rhymes. The hero, brave and strong, left home to right a wrong. From the woods came the wolf, so greedy and hungry. He already found in the house without a host. The hero turned to find she lost the thing she loved the most. Is there like a symbol for family here? Oh, goodness gracious. I just gotta use my brain power. <laughs> he found what he ate in the house without a host. Oh, you know what? Do we need to go into the house and find some shit? That might be a requirement. Fuck, I was hoping to not have to go into this house yet. Oh, I hate it. Why is it so quiet? I don't like it. God, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. I hate this. Oh! Shit! Research into the altering effects discovered in the Cauldron Lake area, utilizing fiction as an arts and art as a source, and then manifesting the results into existence. The FBC's intent in this research project is similar to, is to experiment with nursery rhymes and attempt to recreate the conditions in which the writing would become reality! The nursery rhymes are the FBC's fault! Oh, 
Hypothesis that there are two ways in which fiction affects reality, either by reflecting events that have come to pass, but that are not known to the later creator, whose act of creation therefore becomes the catalyst for these past events, after which they serve as the source of their own inspiration, which is kind of how Alan Wake works, or by the fiction itself being the initiating force in its present timeline using the creator as a conduit. In the experiment, we will create the nursery volume's text with a specific function, and then use the depicted dolls and symbols as needed via careful... Via a careful testing process with the purpose of the story told in the fiction manifesting itself in real life. A variety of combinations, including the dolls, symbols, and rhymes, will be tested in order to collect a large amount of data in the hope that a pattern will appear. Methods will be adjusted in the testing based on our results. That goes on the bottom. Oh, mean gut. Oh, we also found another cult stash, right? That's awesome, and that makes so much sense, like, in-universe, that this is absolutely something the FPC and their dumbasses would do. Test sites in Cauldron Lake, Witchfinder Station, Streamside Cauldron, Cauldron Lake, Rental Cabinet. Cabins. Arrangements 211. Okay, so we found one of them. This is a different one, and up oh, here are the Oh, there's a cat on the desk. That was cute. So we need to now solve this puzzle, huh? Hero brave and strong, left his home to fight a wrong. From the woods came a wolf so greedy and hungry that he ate what he found in the house without a host. He returned. So the hero, which is probably the hero, left, and then the wolf came from the woods? Yep. I have a weird feeling something's changed. <sighs> Give me my dolls back. What is this? What the hell? Another charm for my bracelet. Okay. Saves you from death, but shatters in the process. Okay. <clears throat> I need a second. Oh my god. Ah, the fucking achievement popping scared me. Good God. Also, it's really hot in my room. I'm turning on my fan really quick. This game has me so on edge. Look, like there's going to be a wolf jump scare. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, hang on. Uh, two, f five, four, seven. Oh. From Dr. Campbell to Dr. Marmot and Marmot. Who's the promised 
Teddy bears, toy cars, baby dolls, iconogra iconographic, test results negative, continue testing with more advanced items and scenarios. Eugene Campbell received your favorable view of your project proposal. Okay, so it wasn't working for them six months ago. Interesting. So this project just straight up wasn't working for them six months ago. And yet I showed up and pulled it off instantly. Yeah, we're gonna, um... We're gonna panic really quick and do some running. We've reached the car, Anderson. How's it going down there? I think I'm done here. I'll meet you at the parking lot. Oh, I've investigated the previously flooded area now. Nice. Something to do with Deerfest? Yeah. Yeah, no, I have that exact feeling. I don't want to go that way. I've played enough Alan Wake to know that you turn on the generator first. Oh, yay! Guess Miriam and Matt, thanks for the lovely hike. Patty came down from NYC and I've loved every minute of the trip. Lori and Bob, these paths have been seen better days. Kev, nice views. Mr. Lockhart, may I suggest adding some nice rest stops along the way? Camping dues and dote from your friendly park ranger. Yee? Thanks for stopping by and hanging out, shaman. Hope you get some good sleep and don't get spooked. Do hike and enjoy the scenery, set up your tent, enjoy a nice meal and relax. Don't chop down trees, leave your trash behind, be loud and obnoxious, or start a forest fire. You know what? Based. Let's just do a manual save too. Why the fuck not? Now we can do some exploring without worrying as much. As much. Another locked box. Rock, rock, tree, are you bright enough? The fuck? Well, I see one of them. I see the plus three. Then I see the plus two. Yeah, I know it's math. Math's a dangerous game. The oh, fuck? Where's the final rock? Do I not know how to look for rocks? Am I not a good rock finder? Am I just blind? Where's the rocks? Uh, you know what? We have- I have an idea. All we know is that it just says plus three, plus two, so what, like... So if it's rock, rock, tree, it'd be three, six, eight. So let's try three, six, eight. Well, that wasn't it. Wait a minute, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. 
Oh, it's multiple numbers, so the first one would be six. My, it just clicked in my brain, I'm like, wait, there's multiple numbers. Like, that's why this is technically six plus two, so it does end in eight. Ironic, I guess. So it ends in eight, so what's the- honest to god. Do you think we'll find it on accident if the- do you think the game will let us just do this? <laughs> I never found it! Are you one of us or one of them? I don't know, bud, you tell me. So, uh, note to you for the future, if you ever play this game, chat, uh, if you can get two out of three, you can guess the last one if you just go slow enough. The FBC is definitely playing with things they don't fully understand. And that always goes well. Saga. Oh. Dolls. Duh. Yeah, I know the game absolutely lets me do that. That's great. That's hilarious. I'm gonna let the map load really quick so I can actually like look around and see what I'm looking at here. There we go. Okay, so we're here. We want to go this way and get back to the car. So we want to get to here and then go back up and get to the car. Can I put my markers on the map? No, I cannot. I'm ready to be jump scared. Fear me, game. That's different. I need to be careful that I'm not just like yoinking everything under the sun and that I'm actually like spending stuff. When I get it, you know what I mean, chat? So I could go that way to get back to the cars too, I think. Hang on, I gotta look at the map again because I'm losing my mind. I could go all the way back around here, but that's blocked off too, so I should go this way, I think. I should follow this path. Safety hoardy can be a bad thing, yes. Hi guys! <laughs> Okay, you'll fuck off. Oh, they're just dead, huh? Note to self, shotgun, good. So if I go this way... Yeah, I want to go this way. Oh, I haven't been this way. I definitely wanted to go this way. There's another cult stash. Wash hands, take chicken out of fridge, take a nap. Uh, okay.
Wash hands. Take the chicken out the fridge. Take a nap. They say the lake is a calder, a something formed by an erupting volcano, the sinkhole's left in its wake. But what if that's not true, if it's something else, something less natural, much more man-made, intentional? I say the lake's not formed, it's designed, it has a purpose. The lake's a hiding place, beneath the calm surface lies secret machinery ready to be activated at the press of a button. Okay. They're losing their fucking minds. Oh, it's the symbols, right? So then it's the double triangles into the, uh... It's probably like the upright triangles? Upright triangles... Tips touching, facing out. Maybe. I don't know. I can't see. Oh, upright triangle, tips touching, facing out. There it is. <laughs> Don't take anything if you aren't one of the trees. Um, you know. I like to think I'm a tree, does that count? I think that counts. Good talk. Nice talking to you, too. Where the fuck am I? Hang on. I'm lost. So if I just do a 180, I'm there. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm so stupid. The door was right there. I just had to turn around. Oh, I'm so dumb. Lost in the sauce is an understatement. Bzz. You're up and running. Warning. Activity detected. A W E. <laughs> Event in progress. Cauldron Lake. What's an AWE? Altered world event. What exactly does the FBC do? <laughs> After New York, when I started looking for our friend here, their name came up. I pushed them for any files they had on him, but got stonewalled. They have a reputation of showing up for weird shit. Yeah, they do. They have a presence here, and now we find our writer. How about that? <gasps> I love seeing the FBC just being here in the background. It's beautiful. Uh, we're gonna go this way first. I wanna do a little exploration. Well, that was short-lived.
Ready to go? All right, let's pray that this transferring to a different area of the game doesn't bug out like it did last time. I know it's on me playing this game on a hard drive. I think we've just hit the era. Literally just Jesse's like, we're sending an agent in. Mr. Wake, we're taking you back to Alpha. Field office in Bright Falls. I think technically speaking, that that alarm going off is uh is literally the alert that Jesse gets. I also feel like Logan's not real. Put your father on the phone. Dorian and Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion. Keep an eye on her. Lucky you heard her fall. She could have drowned. Damn. Tried to call, didn't go through. She's fine, really. What about you? You sound stressed. I'm just reading this now. No, it's just a weird case. That's all. It's a very weird case. If you need a hint, if I use a board game victories, tell me. Colonel Mustard did it. Oh, that's going to be a callback later on, isn't it? That's got to be a callback later on. I love this, like, scene change stuff. It's really cool. I do wish it happened faster, but, you know. Can't win them all. So many little things to notice and you enjoy it. It's one of the best things about these games. They are packed to the brim with details that if you're looking for them, you can find them. Which is the craziest part about it all, in my opinion. It's not just that the writing is so damn good that these details are there in the first place, but that you are the one who puts the, the, the things together. Like, he had a whole page of manuscript that was talking about basically, like, these universal items that showed up throughout the rest of Remedy's games. Like, the one, like, he was talking about the poster on the wall, the coffee mug, a typewriter, you know? God, they look horrifying when they haven't, like, totally loaded in yet. And Wake is losing it in the corner. Is there anyone you'd like us to reach out to? The IRL mind place? Yeah, I feel like that's not going to lead to any problems at all. No. No. They'd be in danger. It'll come for me. Okay. Okay, let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? I love how they you just lay the breadcrumbs out for you. And eventually, if it does matter, they will shove it in your face like this. That's the last time I saw him. 13 years. Oh, fuck me. Tell us about the pages. You have what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently, but your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Scratch. Oh my god! Can I pause? Let me pause! Did you write these pages, Mr. Wade? I'm trying. So the fact that they've been scratched, the name got scratched out, which means it's no longer just Alan Wake writing it. Mr. Scratch is also writing it. That's what all the addendums and additions are. Make sense. <laughs> 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 
Mr. Scratch is the one who's helping the writing. I remember. Lovely. No, don't glitch out now, sound. Oh, this is sad. Oh well. This is just a weird, awful transition screen. And so it doesn't matter that my sound is dying. This is a lot for just a transition screen, Remedy. I respect it, but damn. I really need to move this into my SSD as fast as possible. Holy shit. Oh, mean God. <laughs> oh, this is taking so long. I'm so sad now. Yeah. I think we've hit that era, chat. Let this be a warning to you as well. If you're not playing games on an SSD. We've hit that era. Where you should really just be playing everything on SSDs. Oh, the sound's back. That's good? We're just gonna let... Oh! There it is! We're free! It happened! Oh, mein Gott! <laughs> it took so long. In between with Mr. Door. Please tell me the game like auto saved there. That'd be sick. Does that say initiation one? Waking up in places with no memory of how I'd gotten there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Had I already done the show? Was that a recording? Oh, it's like the real life ones. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, I love these. Good to see you, Alan. Uh, uh, this must be I love when they do these like weird, awkward, terrible, like real life versions. So does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. Oh my god, it's them. Exactly. Holy shit. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You there it is. Quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what... It's not a lake, it's an ocean really means! <laughs> departure was the book that he wrote! That was Alan Wake 1. Alan Wake 1, the book, is Departure. Initiation. And Initiation is the... Oh! What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. Oh! The book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A postmodern detective story wait this isn't right i i haven't written anything he's so humble okay also i know it's really quiet chat it's just that loud in game but yeah i sad to say i i didn't change my volume at all i'd remember if i'd written a book right or maybe it was written by your evil double yes it was it was written by mr scratch Playing the role here. 
pretending the world of the book overlaps our own. Except it does. Very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger. Mr. Scratch. By visions of a fictional detective. Guided know. by right. Alex, Alex Casey. In this book as well. Oh, my God. I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with auto fiction? No, but seriously. I found the... Oh, my God. This is insane. Build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of The Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of... New oh, this is incredible. Story he is this is so incredible. I don't think I understand how much I'm loving this. Projection. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. This is great stuff. Note to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak. Are we all in your story, Alan? Yes. Wow. No, I, I, I wish you every success with I'm waiting for this to go horribly wrong. I, this is way too much tension for my poor little brain. Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero <gasps> trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. Man, thank Return you. is happening simultaneously. That's Saga's novel. That's the book that's about Saga. Always talk of meta narratives. You have to expect them to disappear once this scene ends. God, I loved every second of that. Hello? Alan, run. I'm losing it. Something's not right here. I needed to get home. To Alice. What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. <gasps> Neighbor of the Beast! Old Gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. Hey! I think I've been locked in! Anybody? Fuck. Now I have to find the code myself. Great. I was a mess. I had never. <gasps> Interpretation of Many Worlds by Dr. Casper Darling! None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? Oh. Dr. Casper Darling, he makes the joke too. There was something here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. What was that? A message? Oh, impossible to say. Hi, I want out. I want off Mr. Wake's wild ride. Oh, I'm back in the room. Waking up from the nightmare, I felt like a drowning man gasping for air. This place felt familiar. A ghost of a memory surfaced, about riding here for countless days. <gasps> I 
Initiation draft one. Oh my god, this is so meta and cool. On the index cards, the nightmare that just happened to me. A summary of the story so far. But other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. So now he has his own plot board. <sighs> Waking up to a nightmare. At the talk show, I thought I was home in New York, but none of it felt right. I was trapped in the dark place and I moved beyond a world. The writer's room was my safe haven. My writing affected what was outside. I was trying to write a story from this place. The story was called Initiation. The story I wrote, I projected myself out to look for ways to escape. I tried many times, failed. This place made me forget. Everything the door had said felt true. The dark place trapped, you must write to escape. Part one, late night. Waking up to a nightmare. Read me, beware, scratch. I had to write Alice. Was initiation American I No, initiation is happening right now. This is initiation, just so you know. Like, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. This is initiation. When we load it in... To that thing, it was initiation. Initiation and Returner are happening at the same time from the looks of it. Returner is Saga's story. Initiation is Alan's. I didn't remember much, but I knew my thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I'd use my writing to project myself out of this room like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. God, I love that camera shot. Can I please save the game so I can leave? Alex Casey gives him hints on how to get out. I guess we're watching again. Welcome back to the show. So, Alan. As the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? This is so unsettling. Sorry, what? Well, I know it can be an awkward question with the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? Uh, he looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you've voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, I feel protective about my stories and these adaptations. Oh. I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Case. Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. Oh, I'm so concerned. Oh, I'm so concerned. This city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain-slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp 
shaped like an angel. The only thing to shed light on this sordid mystery. I hate this. Oh, I hate that so much. That's great. Murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Upside down angel on a table lamp. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? Upside down lamp on a table. Six, five. It's a different number this time. Is this still Casper Darling? This is still Casper Darling. Oh, shoot. Those weren't blinking before? No, it's a different code now. That was the whole point of that. I'm gonna die again. Do I hate it more or less that I didn't just die there? Hello? <gasps> My savior! My savior! Not so much evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> Good to see you. I love this man. Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse... The, <laughs> the more cooks, the worse the soup. You're goddamn right, Ati. Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ahti, the janitor. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will Why does he keep calling him Tom? A heap of tweaks. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. Wise words from Ahti. What do you want me to get from the basement? And my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got up a go, a man's a man, but a man with a tool makes two, Tom. Egane. <laughs> and a man with a tool can build his own exit. Oh. It's in a shoebox. <gasps> it's in the shoebox. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. Thank you, Ati. I love you with all my heart and soul. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mulls about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home Why is, is he calling him Tom? Is. is it because Thomas Zane is a part of him? I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water oh. Is its way. Water's the way the out. Was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. I love you, Ati. You're the best. The basement would get me out of here. I love how it's the same image from Control. Huh? 
How do I get to the basement from here? Um. Oh, good God, we are. We are existing, huh? Oh, so there's a sh shortcut to the basement in the... Okay, we can't go that way yet. Bossy's key really helped with that, huh? Alan Wake. Mm, none do you. Maybe if I open up all the shortcuts, it'll be easier when I come back through here. I miss my trusty flashlight chat. Box. Was this what the janitor had left for me? It's the statue of the lady. The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Whoa! When the light Whoa. jumped into my lab, the whole room changed, like something in a dream. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. Oh. I felt another surge from the lamp. I could use it again. The glow in the lamp went out, shifting the light in the room. The light carved out something new from the darkness. What the fuck? No, like, really, what the fuck? What is happening? I needed to find another way out. Oh, that's Ati, literally right there. Oh, I need to figure out a way to get power to this lamp. Um. Maybe I wasn't supposed to turn around. I can't see shit, Captain.
Um, I think that was like a graphical bug. Um, I'm lost. I literally can't see shit, chat. <sighs> I am completely and utterly befuddled. Oh, wait. Hang on. What if I just, like, go up the steps now? What if I change it back and go up the steps? I'm losing my fucking mind. Nope. How do we get out of here? No, like, really, how do we get out of here? I'm totally lost, chat. I am so lost, I don't know what I'm doing. You know what? We'll try this again tomorrow. <laughs> I'm so lost! Uh, maybe reloading and putting me back a little bit won't be too bad for me. Maybe... Uh, was my game okay? Fuck it, chat. We're just ending it while stuff is currently breaking. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm